You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning. It's Monday the 18th of July and I'm Kate from Milford. This week, we saw a strong CPI print from the US rising 1.3% in June to 9.1% and core CPI jumping 0.71%. The monthly gains were well above expectations and were broad-based across the major components. Rent was particularly strong with a 36-year high reading and is one of the largest and most persistent inflation categories. This will keep pressure on the FOMC to be aggressive in the July meeting in two weeks' time. Markets are now expecting at least a 75 basis point hike in July. In Australia, we saw a very tight labour market data with an Australian unemployment rate of 3.5%, down from 3.9% previously. This compared to expectations at 3.8%. The unemployment rate is now at the lowest level since 1974. Job ads were also well above forecasts at approximately 90,000 versus 30,000 expected. Following the strong employment data, we saw some decent moves in the Australian bond markets, repricing the short end of the curve higher. Some banks are now forecasting a 75 basis point hike in August, up from 50. The RBNZ lifted the cash rate by 50 basis points to 2.5% last week, which is the third consecutive 50 basis point move, but was widely expected. The forward guidance remains largely in line with market expectations, with the RBNZ saying that it remains appropriate to continue to tighten monetary conditions at pace to maintain price stability and support sustainable employment. And finally on economic news, Nord Stream 1 gas pipeline has a scheduled two-week maintenance, which places further pressure on Europe's energy security. Flows through the pipeline have already reduced to 40% of capacity since mid-June. The German government and industry gas consumers worry that Nord Stream gas flows might stay lower for longer, which could impair the country's target to fill existing gas storage facilities by 90% before winter. Turning to equity news, this week, ANZ confirmed market speculation that it is in discussions with private equity giant KKR about a potential acquisition of Myob. Myob is one of Australia's leading providers of business management, financial and accounting solutions for SMEs, enterprises and accounting practice customers. Since speculation surfaced, the ACCC has raised preliminary concerns regarding the acquisition and that they will conduct a public review if the transaction proceeds. Further speculation surfaced that ANZ is also in talks on a potential acquisition or merger with Suncorp's banking arm. Buying Suncorp would immediately add about $60 billion of customer loans to ANZ's balance sheet, of which 80% would be mortgages. It will also boost ANZ's exposure to Queensland and New South Wales housing markets. Two major US banks, JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley, reported their first half results, both showing lower investment banking fees with both missing guidance. But traditional banking volumes, revenue and net interest margins expansion were all strong. JP Morgan also announced that they are suspending their buyback in order to quickly meet risk-weighted asset requirements and allow maximum flexibility through a broad range of economic environments. Looking to the week ahead, New Zealand's second quarter CPI print will be released today, which is expected to rise by roughly 1% this quarter. The euro inflation print will also be out this week, which is forecast to be 3.7%, down 0.1% from last month. The European Central Bank will also provide their interest rate decision on Thursday. The main policy interest rate is currently at negative 0.5%. Some banks are forecasting it could be at zero by the end of September. The RBA meeting minutes will be released midweek, which will explain the 50 basis point hike decision from June's meeting. And finally, US reporting season kicks off this week, which will provide some good insight into the health of the US economy and outlook. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next week.